So I thought I'd do one more video just to um, show some exam style questions. So let's just get straight into it. Um, here it says find the value of k which makes 3 plus kx plus x squared equals 0 have one repeated root. Of course, if an, equa if an quadratic equation has one repeated root, it means that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So let's just figure out what a, b and c are. Well, a in this case, is not free. Some people think it's free because it's the first number that comes up in the equation. Well, it's actually the number before x squared, yeah? and this would be 1. So a is 1. b is the number before x, so b is equal to k, and c is 3. So I just need to substitute those values into my equation now. So I've got k squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 equals 0. And if I simplify this, I get k squared minus 12 equals 0. Add 12 to both sides, I get k squared equals 12. And of course, the square root now, then I get k equals the square root of 12. So we're nearly done. But the thing is, we only have one part of our solution here. When we square root both sides of an equation, we have to make sure that we put plus or minus there. Because if you square root any number, so for example if you square root 4, then yes that does equal 2 because 2 times 2 is 4, but minus 2 times minus 2 also equals 4. So the answer is plus or minus 2. And that's the same with every square root. So when you square root 12, uh, square root 12 you get a plus or minus root 12. Okay. So if I just get rid of this, that means that this equation here, when k is the square root of 12, or when it's minus the square root of 12, then the equation does have one repeated root, which means that it only touches the axis at one, the x-axis at one point. Okay. So um, let's go on to question two, and this says find the value of k, which makes k x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals zero, have two distinct roots. And of course, if a, qu if a quadratic equation has two distinct roots, two different roots, then the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So let's just figure out what a, b and c are. a is k, b is 4, and c is 2. So I just need to plug them into my equation. 4 squared, b squared is 16. Take away 4 times a, which is k, times 2 is greater than 0. Now if I just simplify this, I get 16 minus 8k is greater than 0. And then if I say take away 16 from both sides, then I have 8k is greater than minus 16. Okay. So if I divide now both sides of this equation by minus 8, then I get k on this side. And minus 16 divided by minus 8 is positive 2. Okay. So I get 2. However, you, you may know from GCSE or IGCSE that when you divide or multiply an inequality, by a negative number, then you also have to flip the sign round. So I have to flip this sign round, so that means that k is less than 2. So k can be any number less than 2. And just to try and quickly explain why we have to, shift this, uh, we have to flip the sign round, if I just get rid of this stuff, then, for example, if I took um, the, the inequality x is uh, greater than 3, Okay. Then x could be x could be loads of things. X could be four. It could be ten because four and ten are all greater than three. It could be many different things. If I multiply both sides of the equation by minus one, then I would get this. But minus four is not greater than minus three. It's less than minus three. Minus ten is not greater than minus three. So when we when we multiply or divide by a negative number, we do have to flip the sign around. Okay? So we have minus x is less than minus 3 and not this. So see here I flip the sign around. So that's why when we divide or multiply by a negative number we have to flip the sign around as well. And just to finish off there, that means if k is less than 2, if this number is less than 2, then the equation will have two distinct roots. It will cross the x-axis at two different points. So um, I hope that helps with some exam questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.